Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here, and today's video is about uh, the FedEx Cup and slow play. So two things that are really hot in golf at the minute. I just wanted to give my opinion, and I would like to, more importantly, hear yours, because um, two things that are happening that uh, could change golf a lot. First one's got to be FedEx Cup. First time ever they've ranked a leaderboard to start with. So Justin Thomas is effectively 10 under at the start and it works its way down. I, as a fan, really like it. I think it's going to be exciting and I, I totally agree it used to get confusing when you had the FedEx Cup leaderboard and then you had the Tour Championship leaderboard because they, they didn't mesh particularly well. However, and this makes me a little hypocritical, and get some comments down below if you are also a hypocrite without realizing you need to understand this new system if it was in place last year the heroics we saw of Tiger the thing that was probably the most iconic thing of the year Tiger walking down 18 all the crowd following him that would not have happened and that is my concern and winning a tour event golf more so than any other sport you can be a exceptionally good, successful tour pro and not have a win on your resume your whole career. It worries me that the tour championship was its own thing and a tour event is its own thing and it's such a special thing to win that could disappear. There's people in that field, um, Tony Phenom being the one that comes and springs to my, my mind straight away. Um, imagine if they win, as in the four days, but don't get that elusive first PGA Tour win. It could, however, work the other way, whereas uh, you've got a couple head start and you go and beat somebody else. So it, I know it works both ways. Um, I'm a bit of a hypocrite. Love the new system, but I do worry about the other things that it removes. And then you've got slow play. Slow play is being spoken about a lot. It's always spoken about a lot. I think um, social media has really got this one spinning. Um, I like some of the changes that uh, have been suggested. Um, with the shot link data, so shot link is what the PGA Tour currently used to work out where all the players have hit their shots. It's where they get all of those statistics from. Um, they're trying to put a time element to it, so they'll be able to start collecting it. Um, You've got to be objective when it comes to slow play. And I think that's why we get so many arguments with slow play. Because it has to be objective. It has to be black and white, just like the other rules are in golf. Um, when it comes to slow play, there's lots of other factors that need to be, to be brought in. Um, European Tour. Uh, I feel like they're jumping on the bandwagon a bit. You know, the PGA Tour are talking about it. They wanted to try and make some changes. Um, Saying that, I, I like what's being proposed, that um, four-point plan, providing when you make fields smaller, you don't take opportunities away from up-and-coming golfers. Um, I think they've tried to write it in and say, look, that's not, we're going to really try and ensure that doesn't happen. But all well and good having a player committee that are established players that have had their tour cards for a long time making the gappings in the tee times bigger, making the field sizes smaller. That's certainly how they made that um, uh, the event that was stopwatched um, a couple seasons ago. That's how they made that one work, by the way. they Less people, they spread the tee times. Um, that's how you can make speed up play at your home course, you know. But, just like on a Saturday, if you spread them out and then people can't play and they they work all week, that's unfair. If you're an up and coming tour pro and you can't get the starts that you need, and you then can't get your foot in the door, that is gonna make it very, very hard for those players. So, look, I'm sitting on the fence. Steve, you're gonna be giving your opinion, you're gonna be causing arguments, but actually I've just sat on the fence. I, I like the FedEx Cup change, I like the slow play initiatives, their initial ideas, but like anything in life, there's pros and cons to everything. So please, get some comments down below. What do you think about slow play? What do you think about the new FedEx Cup? Do you, are you excited about it? 
or are you just thinking this is another event? Or do you not like the way that they've kind of gone down the the American sport model? You know, you can have a unbeaten season and then you can lose in the playoffs. You know, works over here, it's exciting, but are you more of a purist that just doesn't like it? Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you soon.